So, um, yeah. on on Wale, I would want to also understand a few things. You know, Wale was bandana before. He came from the bandana yes. era. Major success, big song, bandana from Ghana, you know, mounted a lot of stages, got nominations and all of that. Then he went off. You know, nobody heard of him. He, he was actually even still trying to survive, trying to do music. But things went off for him for like, I think, six, seven years or close to a decade. Then he came back. Coming back, things had changed. There were new people, you know, at the helm of affairs. He was trying to get attention. You know, you were there directly with him, you know, at the early stages. Yeah. How was it like dealing yes. with him, you know, psychologically, knowing that Charlie, he, he knew he deserved the shot. He knew he deserved to be playing all the shows that everybody else was. But then nobody they mind him. So how were you dealing with that, you know, Wally at that time? Well, well, I think uh, at that time, I would say, <clears throat> because he was desperate to, to make the, the breakthrough, I can say mentally, he wasn't unstable. He was unstable then because he was ready to do anything and everything for the break. But then I, the person who was technically around him, I knew that is is a process and it will take a process to get to the top. So it took me to be talking to him. I mean, it's, it's a matter of uh, 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 talking to the person. It took me to be talking to him. I mean, giving him hope, making him believe that, look, you deserve this. You will have to get it by all means. There is a process we need to follow. I think my my being with him at that time helped him to shape his his thinking because look, the disapprovals were many. Everywhere you go, people say ill stuff about him. He's disrespectful. He doesn't respect. Some will say he doesn't dress well. Some will say his songs are too hard for Ghanaians. I mean, there were there were there were so many of these negative vibes coming to him at that time. But then, lucky for him, I had come in from Jamaica and I believed, I already had understanding in what he was doing. So I believed in him. I, I showed him an ultimate faith in his talent. And I made him believe that, look, whatever people are saying is not a situation. We can break through. We can do it. So I would say, well, people can decide to challenge you when you, when, when you say stuff or so when you say things that you think help them through the the, 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 the passage in, in life. But then you know what you did for them and they know inside what you did for them as well. I know that my presence at that time helped him to shape his, his mental at that time because he was, he, was, he was very challenged with, you know, the kind of stigma that he was going through that time. If I wasn't around, I don't know what would have happened. But then I was able to shape the thinking shaped the thoughts, you know, made him believe that, look, we will do it, we can do it, we'll break through, came up with strategies and, 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 and you know, road, road plans and, and, and here he is today. I mean, he's here. I don't, I don't know if he still remembers all the things that I told him and the things that we discussed. I don't know if he still remembers them. But for me, I remember each one of them. I remember all the depression states he was in at that time and how he gradually you know, we were able to migrate from the bandana and then branded to Shatawale, even how the name Shatawale came about. You know, all these things were all issues that were, were hanging around him that time to how to switch from bandana to Shatawale. And he did the work. So for me, I would say that they are, they are, they are more than necessary uh, 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 upcoming artists down there who are depressed. Some of them if they get a chance today, the things they will say, you may consider them as madmen, whether deranged or unstable, because they are highly depressed. You understand? So we should, we should like, I heard one of you saying that we should start looking at support systems for, you know, such situations in the space. I think it's, it's, it's one of the main things we should be looking at because people are depressed. But for Shatawali, he got the hope. All you need in, in a state like, in, I mean, in times like that, you need, you need hope. Someone to give you hope, to make you understand, and also change your thoughts. That's all you need, and that's what I did at that time. And then here we are today. No, I, okay, okay. Um, okay. Mister Logic, you you keep saying that you you spoke to him, you gave him hope, and all of that. Um, I hear that loud and clear, but 
did you also seek any form of help for him in relation to therapy or psychological help aside what oh, you were doing for him well i mean the, the difference the distinction between a medically See, deranged or unstable a person is quite different from a depressed person do you get me his state wasn't a medical one it was a state of depression why am I let alone? Why am I not playing the shows? Why am I not involved? Why are my songs not playing? Why am I not there? Man, how, logic. How, how did there? you I mean, diagnose? How did you diagnose <clears throat> that? How did you? How did you identify the difference between, you know, mentally deranged and because you know, before you, according it. to experts, before you can actually be deemed or termed depressed, you have to be clinically diagnosed. So, what kind of diagnosis did you? did you go through to identify the difference between just to update the link yeah. is also going down so, so if it does cut we'll get I back mean, to, I mean, to you when, you when you go to the psychiatric hospital one of the key so let, let, so I think signals they start for am i on when you go to the psychiatric hospital one of the key signals they look out for in a mentally stable person is communication i mean communication how you communicate how you are able to to stay you know, they say in a com in a com in, in, in a conversation. So once a person is able to communicate and also share in in, in a conversation with you, then of course that person is, is 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 okay. But then we have people who are who are deranged. That is different from a person who is depressed and feeling feeling a bit stigmatized. That's different from that. So his case wasn't the medical one. And if you ask me, how was I able to? Diagnosed. I didn't have to use any any medical, you know, uh, way of to, 